All right, what's up guys and welcome to the buff and nerf video of Eurasian 9 and of course Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now I will keep this simple and short as the changes that are made are quite few but the ones that are made are quite significant. First and foremost, Glade gets a new ability in sharpness. This ability makes every blade-like move um, boosted by at least 20% for sure, much like Iron Fist. It's not confirmed how much it boosts, but is it 20%? If we're very lucky, 50%, but it feels more likely with a 20% boost. And it will also learn Sacred Sword and a new move included just for Glade, which I won't spoil more than possible, where the Quexiline learns this move and it's a sword-based water move. So Glade will all of a sudden be a lot more viable with Psycho Cut, it's Slash and the Leaf Blade, all of them being boosted. Now combine that with Sacred Sword and Glade is, while still not the best Pokemon there is, it is still buffed. I think that's quite great. Another one is a nerf in Cresselia. It's a move the, and lost 10 its defense and special defense is going to be more manageable, which could be interesting to say the least. It's a good change, I think. Ash Greninja, which will be reintroduced in this game, will not have a boosted stat as it evolves. So no longer an overpowered dark and water, it will stay with the same stats, but with a different form. And it might still be that battle bond still um, change you want to KO a Pokemon. Kung Fu gets a new ability, it gets no guard also, not a big deal. Then we got a Hichuan form, which all of them are significant in their own right, but I think the one that matters are Arcanine. Arcanine loses Justify and will get Rockhead. This is something most of us were wishing when it was introduced, and I'm glad to see it. So now we have a um, potential Flare Blitz and Head Smashing Pokemon with no recall and 90 base speed. Yeah, all of a sudden Arcanine is a very viable choice band option, so looking forward to see how that works out. Sneasler will get a new ability, it will lose its um, Poison Touch, which will become Pickpocket, and once it evolves it will get Unburden. Uh, for those who don't know, Unburden boosts, or get, you get double speed once your item is burned. So this could be used with your know, electric seed and whatnot and boost your speed and you can actually set up a soul stance so basically we have another type of halusha <laughs> kind of idea here and i quite like that um basculin or basculidian's form will lose its rattle and become swift swim what more is this to say it's it's phenomenal <laughs> it's going to be a great sweeper consider the water dark type combination are already viable and i think basculidian with a bit of a Poor speeds here will definitely use this very well. Um, his one, Sora gets no change yet, but basically it's, it has the same stats as Riddle form. Apparently, it had a boosted stat once before. We'll lose that. Uh, Bravery, the his one form will lose its Defiant, which it should, and it gets Tinted Lens instead, which it should. That said, I still think Sheer Forcer is better on it, but I think Tinted Lens allows it to, you know, not be a defiant user and he didn't need it before, we definitely won't need it now. Uh, he's one form of Gudra will lose his overcoat and become shell armor instead. I think it makes more sense, but I think overcoat is better, so I, ah, bit of a tough one there. Um, the enormous, um, the, um, the fairy legendary from uh, Legends of Arceus will lose healer and become shoot, cute charm, so nothing to it. Uh, Cleaver will loses it steadfast and gets sharpness instead. That said, we don't know if Cleaver gets head smash, but hopefully just get it, but that's a big deal if so. Other than that, it really doesn't have a little recall move that it can't capitalize on or... Um, no, I didn't mean head smash, sorry, I, I'm thinking about um, the, um, the rocket. Cleaver has no move that are razor shot as far as I know, besides slash. I think it has... um. A move that could be interesting, but that's about it. It also lost five base attack and gained plus special defense instead, which I feel is quite rare. Samurai of the Hishima form and most likely the regular form too, um, loses its shell armor and it becomes a sharpness instead, and it will also learn Sacred Sword together with the Quaxley Sword-like move. Samurai is going to be great. There is no going about it. That's that's a major change for it. And even more so, it's a major change for regular Samrath if it, they decide to take this route. That's it. 
I want to say that it depends on which moves that will be played like besides these moves because it could be a pretty vague definition. So I will hope to see that they develop that a bit further like Night Slash. Is that a Blade, blade Moon? I would like that to be that. Um, this is why the Hishima form loses long reach and becomes Scrappy instead. That's good. That's actually really good. Scrappy will allow it to, of course, close combat anything, much like uh, Surfage did. <laughs> so, yeah, nothing to it. Like, that's a very, very good thing to have. Uh, Thigh Lotion, Hishima form. And it lost Flashfire, which I think is unfortunate, and got Frisky instead. I don't believe it has anything that will make it good with that in mind however i do believe his signature move did scout for items i guess we could use that and also if you want to use something like poltergeist frisk is an option but i don't get it i don't think it's is that good and now to probably the biggest change and the biggest nerf and that is session and session over crown both loses attack uh twitter base on the session crown which i think is fair zemacenta loses it Tenant's attack and sends a crown loses ten attack and five of its defenses. Nobody uses Samasenta anyway and his crown for I, I I don't believe it needed to be nerfed. Session represented unfortunately uh, the whole generation eight. Um I think their efforts of making Session good and being able to deal Dynamax overpower these Pokemon to a fault. And it shows because when we're talking about nerfs Nothing speaks more of a nerf than the ability changes. Inter Interpret said sword that boosted your attack every time switch in will only boost that once. Same with Dauntless Shield will only boost your defense once. Then that's it. They also changed Protein and Libero. It will no longer allow you to change your typing for each individual move, but rather the first move you use on the battlefield is the one you stay with till you switch out which means u-turns are still good but let's say you go for a high jump kick that means you will be a fighting type remainder of that as long as you stays in so it's a bit of a mixed bag i think a lot of people felt this was kind of rough um but at the same time i think it's going to make maybe both uh, cinderace and greninja very plausible being in the meta this time because they actually might not be overpowered um another thing that i think is gonna be very interesting is the snow warning snow warning will no longer make things hail instead it will make things snow and that also means that snow is a new weather element by definition and snow will boost both defenses for ice types in battle much like aurora veil vale. so yeah they buffed it all the way through Hail is now a snow warning and it's gonna snow and it's going to boost everything on the field. Ice type will still be theoretically bad, but now they have the means to really cover themselves without setting up an Aurora Veil. So I think there is a reason to use Ice types this generation. Maybe not you know, a lot of them, but there are monsters here that definitely can capitalize on it and con combine that with a defensive boost and slush rush. Yeah. I think we're gonna see Ice Type thrive this generation a bit more at least. But those are the major changes. Like I said, Gallade is the one that stands out the most. And of course, the Snow Warning buff is very, very significant. So that said, I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll try to cover as much of the Pokemon as I see as we go. And the buffs and nerfs that we find along the way. That said, thank you for watching and take care. Bye.